I'm Molly Brown, yeah, that's it. Hey, you know what, you give me the time, you know, come on, come on, you know, you <laughs> you can't bad me up it. Yo, I'm a top, you win your two eyes, make it black and blue No, we're no better than you And I am humbly grateful One love, Rastafari, Irie It's been so long and good day viewers and subscribers welcome back to the channel you see me big up in the cell so two rich man and four poor man died this morning as a result of it was their time It was their time. Even, even though them beg and ball, cause they weren't ready. <laughs> it was their time. So I say that to say these people, make we give thanks that we are still here. You see me? Yeah, make we give thanks that we are still here. If you don't agree with me, wherever you're watching this video and you agree with me, just turn your eyes to the heavens and say, thank you, Father God. For keeping us alive all right and then you could type it in the comment box as well but make sure you're tight and the reason why i said the reason why i said make sure you're tight is this in the beginning was the word people and the word was with god and the word was god so everything create create by the word a lot of people love to say word is win you know what i mean but we get to realize that word is not win. Word is power, Bridget. Word is power. Everything created was created by the word. God said, come, let us make man. A man was created. You understand? He said, let there be light. And there was light. You understand? So it's the word. It's put, speak the word. It's spoken word. You understand? So make sure you're all tight. The word, right? Yeah, make sure you say, thank your father, God. For yet another day. Thank you, Lord, for spreading us spirit our life. We give you thanks, we give you praise. Yes, because like I said, two rich men, four poor men died this morning. As a result of it was their time. Alright? So my people, I have some stories that I want to share with, with the people with the island. Because a lot of people say, so somebody said to me, say, dance all quote, how come you never really share your story? So I'm going to share my story and some other story. So I used to pursue music as an artist. You understand? I used to out there 
from from as young as I can remember. I I love I I have a love for music like love music to to a certain extent. My first artist, my first artist who I like as an artist was Lieutenant Stitchy. I was about ten years old at the time. I like Stitchy, like Stitchy, Luton and Stitchy. I used to recite Stitchy's song, them, them lyrics, them, when he was on Sir One. I, I used to recite them and lyrics, I'm like, it's me, write them, brethren. I used to know them. That time, my brethren, J Fox, big up yourself, J Fox. J Fox was the one who used to play the beat, the rhythm with his mouth. We used to call him Walking Stone Love, brethren. J Fox would be like, do, do. And we will be killing it with, with lyrics. We, uh, you know, Stitchy lyrics. And I, Stitchy was my favorite. So I be a Stitchy is a bit to chat. You see me? So I used to, I, I, I pursue music. I remember one time my father sent me to the hardware to buy shoes glue. Yeah, it was a Saturday virgin. And my father sent me go. Then tell me I go primary school in the blood. I was going to primary school, my father said me go buy shoes, glue, seeing. So when I reached out in the third center, which was St. Anne's BM, I saw one of my school friends. Yeah. And he was like, yo, can we go to Bassa? Then Bassa, Bassa Land was a place, it was a games room where we kids could go play games during the week and on weekends. So we used to go there and dance, we used to keep that night time too. So he said, yo, can we go to Abasa? That time I, I, I already purchased the glue, right? In a, in a Alex buckle bridging. I have it and we should be heading back to my yard and my father wanted the glue to do him work. Seeing that he was a shoemaker and a plumber. And bridging, I went to Basala and me as, me as a skelly bop. A skelly, if you're, if you're, wherever in the world you are, and you watch this video, big up yourself. Skelly bop. Remember, skelly bop was my little primary school friend. Me and Skelly Bapa, and me see Skelly Bapa in a sentence, me and Skelly Bapa say, yo, come we go Bassa. And oops, we got Bassa. And them time the Pac-Man, the game Pac-Man was the thing. And we had played Pac-Man all night and bridging. I, I was out there for about, say, 2 o'clock. I went to buy the glue and get the glue and bridging. I got Bassa from them times, little after 2, 2.30, so I got to 3. I got Bassa play a game. There was a dance going to be at Bassa the night. It was creation with Papa San and Stero One with Stitchy. So I, we were out there playing Pac-Man game. Boom, 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 boom. I play Pac-Man, see? And boom, night come down. We didn't even realize the night come down. And sound system come and string up and dance and start bridging. And I, I, when they put out people say, put you out so you can pay if you come back in. That's when we realized, say, that data go on, you see me? And bridging, we hide in some corner, and me and Skelly back. Till dance start. Cause for them say stitchy me now go home again cause I'm my favorite artist that you see me. And remember me tell us we did it all night till Sunday morning. Sunday morning when we realize I don't even know where the glue turn, we don't have the shoes glue. And when I get home I get a piece of beaten brethren. You see me? Trust me. Piece of beaten. Another time now, like when we like um just leave school now, just leave high school now and and I work, brethren. So all of my friends them rape me now, cause me a DJ and me take on the name. The, me, me Jap stitch, you know, me Jap name stitch, you know, I take on my own name now, as Thermos. You see right? Yeah. So, so, my friend them rate me. From the community, everybody rate me. Everybody, Thermos, Thermos. I used to sound like Bujo at one point. I remember one time, um, I remember one time there was a, 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 a little stage show and this girl, Carol Gonzalez, was on the show. She, Buju wasn't there. I know she did a song with Buju, right? So, we were there, me and my friend, and she and she was singing song, Something in my heart, eh? And she had gone, but she never had all the vibes because Buju not there. So she stopped and she said she wants somebody to come play Buju Bantan part. And about 3.5 million men jump up on stage to go play Buju part. But suddenly the crowd started to say, Thermos, 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 you know? And two girls, we used to power with two girls that come from America, one named Karen and one named Kerry. Big up on yourself, Karen and Kerry, if you don't know, you know, see that video, you see me? Yeah, and, and them say, go there, go there. 
and, and my brethren, Shati, pushed me up there and said, go on, man, I will go up there. And the, somebody hand me a microphone, seeing, and the girls, rhythm start playing, the girls are singing, something in my heart, they, and they, and they want to hear me like I'm in a bojo. And, and I saw we are going, and when bojo part come, I saw the bojo part and place a mash up. So they said, I said, yo, DJ, 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 and then, and so. I used to pursue music. You know what I'm Remember one time, my first DJ contest. One good Friday we have a DJ contest. See? Yes, one one good Friday. There was a them time I used to afraid of my father like post brethren. Cause my father used to have and look there when, when you're doing something wrong and the, the man in a talk, the man just gave look like oh, you know what that mean. <laughs> it's whatever you do it, stop doing. If you're on the road, my father come and see and give you the look. With a guy, your yard, Richard. <laughs> yes, you are So, one good Friday, when they used to have Good Friday fit over in our place, seeing and DJ Cantis and Rare, Baga Baga Baga. Boogie Man can attest to this. Boogie Man, big up yourself from Civilized, seeing. So, Swoville was the song you used to play. And I remember my brethren, Ika Mouse, in a foreign now. Big up yourself, Ika Mouse. They used to rate me as a DJ, see? He came out there from earlier and set down my name. So when I reached out, he came out and said, don't worry about that thing, man. My name is name right and everything. Boom, all the guineas and rare and did it, eh? So when DJ can't start, man, I the person that I mash up the place and as a little youth in the region, be a school girl and sitting and sitting down, you know? And I mash up the place, everybody a shout for me and, yeah. And Bridget, when we got to the end of the stage, I go like, me and, and my father, I see me and me, I make four brethren. I drop, me drop the microphone already for cut and boogie man hold me and I shut and say, dude, where I go? Go on DJ, man. Your father now and do nothing, man. You see me? <laughs> so from this, so now, it's like we kind of get a little bit of okay. So one next night now, one, one big um, talent show down a, down a runner be there, so now, over Cardiff Beach. And a base of this year play over there. So, me, I come from work, I got my yard, now my bridge, you know, big up yourself, glamour. Glamour down there, and no say that I go on, and glamour set down my name already in the bridge. The man set down my name and everything, and buy one dozen Irish kids and have them in a scandal bag, you know, and they out of the front of the, at the gates, and we a look out for me, you know. So, I up on a bus now, try to go on my yard, and the bus stop out at Califal Beach gate there, so. So, just as the bus, if you move off, now me and man say, turn us, so when me look at glamour, I mean, go so and I say, come off of the bus. I mean, say, hold on the driver, hold on the driver. The driver, hold on, I mean, come off of the bus. I say, oh, go on. I say, where are you I say, no, must be my yard, brethren. He must say, yo, you're an idiot, man. He said, DJ, can't say, why are you I say, is it? He say, yeah. So I said, what we have to do? He said, no worry, man. I sit down here, my dog. Hold on, Heineken, man. See? So I said, go and sip to Heineken and boom, start. DJ, can't start and rear run. All the little money, when they come, me mash it up. And this MC, the MC was a boy who never won me for win. He tried every, he tried him atom most best for me to win. To the point where me, the, everybody a ball for me, and the man never like it. And the youth, me and him like neck and neck, I go to final. Me, me lead him and when the vote come and every, like all the people vote for Thomas, the MC say, "Here I go, I'm have a challenge. Anybody who can DJ Marcus Garvey lyrics, them are the winner." I said, "With this boy, I need Rasta." But I was so spontaneous. That's I don't no really ever think three hard about it. Me, one of my girls sang the me half, I just remove the girl and put Marcus Gavi. And just throw it around Marcus Gavi lyrics and mush out the place and win the money. I get them telling me get five hundred dollars in an envelope and a case of dragon. Never reach me out till Sunday morning. So I go to my gate, father grab me up to bump his show. Where I come from? <laughs> I couldn't believe. They tell me have about four of my some father friends did today. Out of, out, of, out, of, out of them workshop, see? And the man grabbed me up and I said, where you come from? The time, me just to take out the envelope, put on my pocket, for hand to my mother with the $500, see? And I said, DJ, can't test me, sir. And the man, the man said, yo, then come my father, Shaf. I said, yo, Shaf, love the youth, man. I said, you would like music and thing and thing. You see me? So, when him see the case of Dragon, me never get no beat again. <laughs> yeah, he just let me go. So I used to pursue music until opportunity come to go a friend and me go a friend and that was it. No uh, liquid you used to call me all the time and say, yo, we are do a friend, go back to Jamaica, blah blah blah. blah, blah. You know what I mean? So that was a little of my story. I did, I did a song, I did a couple of songs. I did a song with Dan Mafia and Juna Reed named Cry Now. Yeah. 
um, and I did up some other songs. I did lots of did dub play for Body Guard and Big Up Johnny was the first youth to see me and say, Youth, you're bad, come here, guys, studio. Body from Johnny, from, um, Johnny from Body Guard. Yeah. And Kia got studio advice. See? All the boy will call himself. Wait, well, I me mean, not call him a boy like me, I disrespect him. He's not a disrespect. But you see, I'll the King, I was the first person we make him do a dub play for Body Guard. Jigsy. Them Jigsy never find Bojo Bantan for his Jigsy a DJ like Capotan with a style name. Them get Billy the Kid, the Papa style name Billy the Kid, the wicked still. You see me? And me and the first youth make them youth device dub play for Body Guard. Ask him anytime when you see him. You see me? So that's it. So we go far, you know, one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing. We, we take different alternative route and, and you know. But we still love the music and love the culture and we gain knowledge because I went to college in London and blah 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 and we gain excess amount of knowledge and we know right from wrong and you know what I mean? Yeah, and we know how the things set. You see me? And we know where the world, we read the Bible, we have biblical youth and thing and thing. So that's why you see we have to try to share knowledge and teach people them certain type of things because you know, we don't know you know and you have to share it. One thing more I advise the people them to do before me tell you the next story is this. Whenever time you're watching TV, are you watching YouTube or you're listening to music or with a YouTube or whatever and, and advertisement come on about sickness? Mute your television. You want to know why? Let me tell you why. These people are pagans and they know what they're doing. Like I said earlier on about the word, they are speaking certain things into your existence. That's what they're doing. So every five seconds on TV, there's some weird commercial about sickness, the big C, the B, this, the that, the blah, 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 blah. I hear the commercial this man. This is why, that is why I inspired me to do this video. I was watching TV this man, I see a commercial come on, and the guy say, one out of every five person is going to have a certain sickness. I, I, I'm not going to say the name. Him say one out of every and I was and and the guy there, there was a bridge in beside me and the bridge said why would he say that and I said mute the TV that's what they should do let me tell you why he said that because he's speaking it into your existence that's what they're doing they, they think they're clever they're speaking it in your existence so every second you find somebody around gospel and them sick who is getting rich doctor what did the Bible say rich or get rich and the poor get poor so what get rich all these people pharmacy people and doctor people and rare rare Mute your TV when the, the adverts them come on about sickness and illnesses and big C and small C and, and this a B and that a B and 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 and, and this a P and you know, mute your TV till it till it pass. If you can't skip, mute your TV. Alright. So here that story now. A friend of mine today asked me to uh because she's, she's not just a friend, she's a subscriber as well. She was a friend before, but now that we have a YouTube channel, and she find out, she subscribed, and she she came to see me today. She's hurting because apparently our boyfriend cheated on her while she was there. Can you imagine that? Yeah. So she she's hurting, and she she came. She was, we were having a this argue. She was talking. She need comfort, and she asked me something about men. And why men cheat? Yeah, she she wants to know why men treat cheat, why men cheat. And I was like, it's it's a compilation of things, you know. It's a compilation of things why some men cheat. At least, uh, well, all men are capable of cheating. Not all men cheat. Not all men cheat, but all men are capable of cheating. Whether you believe it or not. You understand? So hear that Joe Maya now. Yeah, so I said to her, alright, from, from my point of view, from my point of view, um, when I was like teenager, early twenties early 20s teenager the 18 19 20 21 22 we never really take them things serious like no relationship we should just bang bang hit and run like sensia you see me we should just hit and run like just like sensia you know what i mean and uh, we never really tell them things serious we never you know what i mean but the more we get up in the age you keep going up you know we find say you can't really live like that so 
we find say uh, at some point you have to settle down like settle boil in water in the kettle so we find say now you start to learn more about women and you ask older people older men bigger men than you questions and certain you know you have to know you know and, and there are certain qualities that you look for in a woman if you want to spend the rest of your life with a woman they get me so if, if you meet a woman and she tick all the boxes then you find say a the man there will behave himself if, if you have a woman and she tick all the boxes sometimes some woman pretend sometimes some of them don't tick, tick all the boxes and then you know because remember my father tell me this you know him say um anything we make you get a woman we make you lose her so when you start a relationship and this goes in both man and woman with a start a relationship the same vibes that the, the, in the beginning must must be maintained the same vibes whatever vibes it is if you start off on a vibes where lovey dovey affection giving gifts and 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 appreciate each other and saying thank you and please and open doors and close doors and and you know open door for you and all these things and 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 you know you must that must be maintained this the minute you stop both parties gotta notice if the woman used to be nice cook food you know share your dinner bring come to you and all these things and 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 if she used to do that in the beginning the minute she stopped the man is gonna know the man is gonna notice and it's likewise if the man used to you know buy her nice little gift tell her nice things compliment her blah 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 lobby dobby and the minute you stop she's gonna notice so it must be maintained otherwise it's not gonna work next thing you must be compatible you have to be two indifferent minds can work if you want to go to Montego Bay and she want to go to Kingston, you're going to have a problem. You understand? Now, as it relates to um, the dugu dugu, you know what I'm talking about, sex. Both of you have to learn to compromise. You understand? You don't have to compromise. And if a man wants it, him. And if a woman wants it, him. That's how it is. You understand? Whenever any man want it, so yeah, some women work off of uh, like gift vibes. You give them a gift, it run. If you don't give them no gift, nothing no run. That's not good. I remember I started this girl one time, and we went window shopping, and she see a cologne, a perfume, and she said she would like it, she want it, and I said I get it for you tomorrow, and she get vexed, and and she was like, I'm ready, come, I'm ready to go. And, she, and we get in the car and I drove her to her yard and before the car come to a complete stop, she was out the car. Boom inside her house. So I said, let I want to go on here, so. so I went back to the to city center and I got the perfume and I go and I knock her window. And she moved the curtain and she, and I, I held up the flight show and she see that she run come out. I handed it to her and she jumped into my arms. And I said, oh, oh, oh. I said, this appears as if it's a material love. I mean, I like a type of love here. So guess what? This ends yaso. You see me? So that you have to careful, you have to observe. You understand? You have to observe. You can see things. Once a person stops doing things they should do, you have to take that into into consideration and, and, and start make plans for say distance yourself. That's the key. Distance yourself. Once them change, whether man or woman, once the, ladies. Once the man change, as in stop doing things, we should do. Stop giving you compliments, stop saying things. Staying out late at night, always on his phone and all these things. You, you name the woman is like when you don't the woman because he's over there so on phone and you have to start distance yourself. Something's not right. And it goes for the man too. If you're, if you're in your house with a woman and she always up on her phone at 10 texts and going like she's done social media and a ray ray and a, start distance yourself. If I used to love you, love you with her, Drift. Step back. Yeah. That's why it come down. Yeah, you have to do these things. Start distance yourself from her. That means that any time she steps through the door, it no it no it no bother you. It does not bother you. You understand? So I remember when I used to talk to this girl. The next thing a man don't like is girl with too friendly. No. Especially with men. I remember I used to talk to this girl. It was a nice girl. And she wasn't a cheater. How do I know? When I first met this girl. When I first met this girl. She told me she had a boyfriend. And she don't do the cheating thing. And I respect that. When I become friends. We, become, we became friends. And you know good friends. She told me she had a boyfriend. 
and I respect that. I, I back off. But there was one particular day now where I was in a restaurant having breakfast. It was like about 10 in the morning. Yeah. I was at the restaurant having breakfast. And I see this girl running. Runner come like Shelly and Fraser. I thought it was Ilian running her down. So when, I, when she got close, I realized it was my little friend. So I show, I said, hey, wait, wait, what's up? And she was crying and she ran come into my arms. I said, what happened? Why are you crying like that? She couldn't even talk. She could not talk. I have to took her inside the restaurant and tell the lady in the restaurant, said, please, make her a cup of tea. Make it very sweet. And she made the tea, gave her the tea, she drink it. And then after 15 minutes, she started beginning to calm down and try to talk and tell me what happened. And she said she was in her yard. Her, her, her boyfriend come over like last night and he slept there. So they woke up this morning and he was in the yard. But she had promised her best friend to accompany her somewhere. And she totally forget. So when the best friend turned up and said, What happened? We're you know, already, you know, rare, rare, rare. She said, Oh my God, I forgot that I promised to, to, to go with you. Um, give me a couple minutes. I'm just going to get a quick wash off and I will be ready, good to go. So she went in the shower. But the, 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 you know, them country yard, yeah, the, 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 the shower in the shower in area is like a little distance from the house, the actual house. So she ran on the gang, grab her shower. And by the time she grab her shower and come back, she come catch her boyfriend and her best friend, a dogo dogo. And the only thing she could have do when she come see a dogo dogo, the same clothes that she wear go down the, the shower, and she didn't have on, she run from there, so come to. Where I was, she wasn't coming to me. She was just running, and me I tell her, say where I was and where she lives is like from Kingston to Spanish Town. So you know she had run from Kingston, come to Spanish Town, and that's when I saw her. And when she saw me, she run to me, and she, she tell me, and I said, man, can you wicked so? But this girl is not a cheater, and I had to comfort this girl, like for three days she wouldn't go home. She want to stay by my ends, and I, I, I yeah. She go to work. She she wants to go to work, and um, I think she called in sick. She called in sick the first two days, and then the third day she, she I buy some clothes and she she go to work and she come back. She come at my workplace, come chill out, and yeah, and and we gradually get into a relationship. But she was too friendly after I find get to know her. She was a very friendly person and that never sit well with me. Me not like me not like telephone mood. I like mobile phone. Mobile phone is personal. Telephone mood is for everybody. So I am saying, ladies, don't be a telephone mood. Be a mobile phone. And once you be a telephone mood, your man not gonna like you too much. When, when him find out, cause that's what I did. When I find out, say this girl was too friendly. Every every buddy call, hey, call to her, hey, as a king teeth. Another time, I remember one time I was, <laughs> yo, I remember one time I was talking to this girl. And there's this particular Sunday evening where she asked me to take her to Baskin Rabin. So, you know, we are got Baskin Rabin and we are walked to, towards Baskin Rabin now and she saw some of her friends them in, a, in our another store. And they saw her and showed to her, hey, and they called to her and she waved to them. And then the next minute, she run gone over there to them and over there for a good 10 minutes to bridge in a chat, you know. And I started to put this away. So when I check on sister, wait, she over there for 10 minutes. I just disappear like Flash Garden. <laughs> when, she, when she come back, she just see me, me cut like Taylor. Yeah. And I, I just saw me do my thing. So, I mean, I listen, so girls. But I guess most of nowadays girls don't really care because they, as, as one man, they jump to a next man. Which back in our time, in our young teenage days, Women and girls they follow their body more. A girl that never does give up the vagina like that. Are you crazy? No, them value that. It's like a precious, you know, you, you, you cherish that. Their body, uh, you, when you get it, you have to lucky. It's a reason why you get that. But no, they just give you that like an exercise book. <laughs> yeah, man. You see me? So, when it comes to relationships, when it comes to relationships, two people have, the two people have to want to be together and they work. It's not going to be smooth sailing. So, my friend, I know you're hurting. 
I know you're hurting the man. You, you, you're a nice lady and there's a nice girl. You don't do the cheating thing either. And when you love, you love deeply. And that man, that man, I mean, I really want to sound like, I don't want to sound like no crutches. Like, I <laughs> don't want to sound like, I mean, like, somebody that's why. You sound like a fussy or something, but Fico said, because I was going to say, that man didn't really deserve you, and, and people might say, you sound like a fussy if you say that. I don't really want to say no deserve you, but Andrew don't really deserve you. Because, you know what I mean? But then again, Kobe Bryant, chief and female wife, and Kobe Bryant wife, pretty like Jesus shirt. <laughs> you see me? So, I want to let them think there. My beautiful people, big up on yourself, man. Seeing, we love you to the bone. Loving all the time to the moon and right back just like that. This has been the Dance Out Court special edition. You know what I mean? I dedicate this one to my friend who is hurting right now. She's in a, so much pain, Bridget. She, she can't believe. You know, when a, when, a, when a woman put everything into a guy and, and, and the guy pull up, her, pull her up with promises and then and then break her out, let her down, and you know, she never expects a, he, he would have done something like that. And to who, again, you know what I mean? She's very hurting. And she, she wants to remain anonymous, and I respect that. So I'm not going to call up her name. I'm not going to call the man name either. You understand? But like I said today, just do those things, and then trust me, within within a, a little while, because time is a healer. You, you'll, be, oh, you'll be over it. You'll be over it. Just find just find constructive things to do. You know what I mean? And to, you know what I mean? Occupy it. Keep yourself occupied so that you don't you know, have no time to be reflecting for nothing. You know what I mean? You'll be good, man. Don't worry about it. You're a good person. You will, you will come through this. You understand? But just respect yourself. All right? We love the people. You know what we always do? To the bone, to the moon, and right back. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet done so. You understand? And always remember, it's just one love and one God. And if we do the right thing, we'll be okay. If we all do the right thing, we'll be fine. You understand? If we all... Challenge yourself to do the right thing at all times. We'll be fine. Yeah, some things we can't really talk about. Some people. Yeah. A lot of souls selling that go on. People are selling their souls for this. But this ain't going nowhere. You understand? It's not about being rich. It's not about being rich, people. Once you have a nice house, cause like for for instance me, me not run down no riches. If it comes to but me not run down riches. I have, you just want a nice house. You just want two houses. One for me and one for my grandchildren when they come. You understand? And, me have, and they have a nice elderly care. I have a little business that go on. That's it. You know, that's, that's what you need. You just want a nice business where you can, you know, nobody can fire you. So you don't have to worry about your endeavors. You know what I mean? Because you have a nice business that you around. And you have to work to make sure it flourish. And you have a nice little house. You know, the landlord can, you understand? You're good. You have a little wheels, you know what I mean? You know, you know but you don't drive past your road and you go and save a little penny here and there and invest a little penny here and there. You should be nice. You don't have to run on the riches and sell your soul. Don't, you don't have to sell your soul. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because guess what? We are only passing through earth. It, do, it makes no sense to get up all these things. For what purpose? What are we going to do with it? We are only passing through earth for a period of time. As soon as you're gone, you have to leave everything behind. You understand what people? Make yourself happy. Love God. Try to please God in everything you do. You understand? Do less wrong. Do less evil. Do more good. Do more righteousness. Live forever. Praise God. Give him thanks and praise every day for every little thing. It knock your smile. It is give God thanks. And just love your neighbor like you love yourself. And respect each other. And take care of yourself. That's it. We love you. Know. Until the next video, be safe. Alright? One love. It's been so long